Okay, we have retained another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2006, problem number 34. We have the integral of one over the square root of x times the fourth root of x plus one, all to the 10th dx. Okay, initially this seems kind of scary just because we've got a fourth root inside here, and then we've got this to the 10th power. Initially I wanted to do a u substitution just for this, but then if we do that, we have u plus one, and it's still all to the 10th. I don't know, I didn't really try it that way, but I think what I want to do instead is make my u substitution for this whole thing to really substitute what's inside there. So let's just go ahead with that. I'm gonna make my u equal to the fourth root of x plus one. And then let's just solve for x. I think I'm also gonna solve for the square root of x while I'm at it. So let's kind of go through some steps here. So we'll have the fourth root of x equal to u minus one. If I square both sides here, we end up with the square root of x equal to u minus one squared. That gets us this value. Squared again, we get x is gonna be equal to u minus one all to the fourth. Then take a derivative to get the dx value. So for dx using power rule in this, we're gonna have just four u minus one cubed. We could use the chain rule, but through that's just gonna be one. So we'll put a du on the end and that's gonna be our dx. So then going ahead with this first, plugging in our dx, I'm gonna take the four and bring it out front of the integral. So here we're gonna have just u minus one cubed du. Now for square root of x, we've got this thing. So we're gonna have u minus one. And this piece right here, it's just gonna become u to the 10th. But then over here, we're gonna get some nice cancellation because I cancel two of these with two of these. And we're just gonna have u minus one to the one. And then what I can do to simplify this, let's just divide the u to the 10th into the numerator. And this is gonna become u to the minus nine minus u to the minus 10 du. And for this, we can just use power rule. So doing this, we'll have our four out front this first one's gonna become minus one over eight u to the eight. And then here we're gonna have a minus come out of this, minus times minus is gonna be plus one over nine u to the nine. But now from here, let's just back substitute to get everything back into x. So we'll back substitute here and here. And so what's gonna happen, we'll keep our four out front. Then I'm gonna reorder it just because I like the plus sign first. So we'll have here one over nine, and then plugging in for u, we're gonna have this fourth root x plus one all to the ninth. And then for this term, we have a minus one over eight, same exact thing for our u, and then we'll have this to the eighth power. And now I actually have my answer like this, but I noticed that MIT got a common denominator and simplified it a little bit more. So let's try to do that and get a common denominator. So first I'll multiply here by nine and here by eight. And then of course, update the numerators as well. So I'm just multiplying by one, multiply it by nine here. And then in order to get this to match with this, I just need to multiply in one more copy of this to make this here a nine. So we'll change this to a nine, but then I need to multiply it in up here in the numerator. Then now that we have a common denominator, let's put this all together. So we'll still have this four out front. Our denominator is gonna become 72 times this fourth root of x plus one all to the ninth. And then the numerator is gonna become eight, distributing in the minus sign, we'll have eight minus nine times the fourth root of x. And then the last term is gonna be a minus nine. If I can cancel four with 72, and this is gonna give me an 18 here. And I'll actually factor a minus out front, so we'll change this to a plus, this to a plus, this to a minus. So when we put this together for the final solution, we'll have minus sign out front, nine minus eight gives me a one here, plus nine times the fourth root of x. Over this stuff right here, which is just gonna be 18 times the fourth root of x plus one, to the ninth, add a plus C, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.